Hey there, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and in this tutorial I'll teach you how to remove echo and reverb from any of your audio. So here's some audio I recorded earlier on my camera microphone, not the best quality, have a listen. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you can get a lot of echo. So as you can hear there, a lot of echo to be removed, reduced and eliminated. The first thing I would do, and I would advise you to do if you're recording audio in a noisy or echoey environment, is try and get some room tone without any speaking or any kind of shuffling about. So this tone is not good because we've got me moving about and you can hear that. So we want something, there's a breath there, so I don't want that. That's kind of close to room tone there. Hopefully that is enough to pump into Adobe Audition's noise removal. So you can hear kind of the, the whir of an electrical fan in the background. Let's pump this up and really have a listen to this audio. So quite a lot of background noise anyway in the first place. Into effects, noise reduction restoration, capture the noise print. Uh, click OK to that. That's done. And now back into effects, noise reduction restoration, noise reduction process. And here we have like a process we can apply now. Let's listen to how it sounds so far. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't... So a lot of that uh, noise has started to disappear. Uh, we can increase this just to get rid of a bit more of the, uh, the noise. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you can get a lot of echo. So it's rather unfortunate. So you can hear now already the noise is starting to disappear. With audio, we don't always have the per So I just took the preset off and then applied it again. Then in advance, we have a spectral frequency decay rate. Now, if we move that all the way up to 100. With audio, we don't always have the perfect environment. And sometimes you can get... And then turn it all the way down to 0%. Listen to the difference. With audio, we don't always have the perfect environment. And now I think you'll notice there, 100% it's not operating at all, and 0% spectral decay, which is uh, in the spectral frequency view, by the way, uh, is not occurring at all. So you're kind of removing echo using noise reduction. Sometimes when we record audio... And again, without it applied. Sometimes when we record audio... And watch how the spectral frequency display changes if I pop into preview mode here when I add this on. So as you can see, a lot of the echo is being eliminated around this frequency range, which seems to be around the 4K to 6K mark in frequency. So really, really good stuff. I think we can uh, apply this now, and I think we've done pretty well already with removing a lot of echo from this audio. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have... And we've also got rid of a ton of the background noise. Uh, the final process I might do is go and uh, check out some of those pesky frequencies. So let me just delete the start and the end here. So we got our audio into effects menu. And to do that, one of the best uh, features for this is the parametric EQ. Uh, and you can see I've already got a notch set up there already. Uh, so what I can do is use this notch now. If I uh, change the Q width uh, to be really tiny, I can sweep through frequencies and find out if I've got any annoying frequencies in my audio. So this is increasing the frequency, this is decreasing it. Once I find what I don't want in the audio, I can then go and take that frequency out. So let's sweep through. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you so there you go there is a nasty frequency i can hear it right there 3160 hertz so then we'll just go to minus 15 db and sometimes when we record audio Again, more echo is disappearing there. And if I want, I can go through and I can pop in other handles. So I can pop in a, another point here and we can do it all over again for this one. So let's make that tiny and uh, notch back through the frequencies to find if there are any more annoying frequencies. I mean, this is already sounding good, but we can be perfectionist here. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you can get a lot of echo. So it's rather unfortunate. Hopefully we can eliminate this echo. Sometimes. Okay, again, uh, I found another one there. One five five five. One five 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 five. Uh, so let's bring that down to uh, minus fifteen dB. See how we're sounding now. I'm just going to make the notch a little tighter on these. Sometimes when we record audio, we. Do 
That's it. And then finally, I might go through to give a final shimmer and shine polish to this uh, into my filter and EQ. And I'll want to go again, I can go for the parametric equalizer. But on this pass, I'm just going to add broad EQs. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment. And sometimes you sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment. And after that, I'm going to add a little bit of single band compression to just uh, bring it down to a nice uniform size wave. That's a little bit too much compression there, don't you think? Let's uh, just turn these dials down a little bit. Turn the output gain down as well because we're going, we're riding too loud. Let's have a listen to this. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you can get a lot of echo. Okay, so that's the processed version. Let's go back to the original. Here we go, undoing everything I've just done. And you just heard the original, now here is, no, you just heard the process track, now here's the original. Sometimes when we record audio, we don't always have the perfect environment and sometimes you can get a lot of echo. So remember, noise reduction and restoration. Remember, para parametric EQ and go sweep through, find those pesky frequencies. And then finally, overall, add some EQ and some compression to your audio and you've eliminated echo and reverb and got a pretty good sounding speech remaining. <laughs>